Hi, fourth grade. Today's question is, how has art changed through time? All right, so today is a very special day. We are going to be planning out our clay coil pot that we're going to be creating next week. If you could please go to fourth grade art studio, go to classwork, and you're going to see week 16, introduction to sculpture. We need a couple things to be filled out. You're going to see a Google document that looks like this. It has two question marks. This is where you're gonna put your inspiration for this week. Give me a thumbs up once you're here. First thing I want you to do is I want you to find some inspirational images. We're gonna look at some images of clay coil pots. And so I'm going to spell that for you, put it on the screen or probably put it on the board too. You're going to click this first question mark, press replace image, search the web, and then you're going to put in clay coil pot. And I will spell that for you, press enter. And it's gonna give you some different options. I want you to check these out. Some of them are not quite exactly what we're doing, um, but I want you to check these out. Is there one that inspires you? Something that you wanna try? I really like this one. It's really tall. And then go ahead and replace the image with the one that maybe you wanna be inspired by. Okay, and then in a moment, we're going to put our idea here. So for right now, go ahead and close your Chromebook. You can even move it away if you want. Now I want you to get your sketchbook out. There's a couple of notes that you need to have. Look at all the pages we never did. You're welcome, guys. You guys are gonna to go to page 48. We're skipping all the way to 48. All right, so there's three different techniques I want you to know. There's also additive techniques and subtractive techniques. We're not gonna worry about those too much today. I just want you to remember these three. So do you remember last year when we made our animals out of clay? That was when we made a pinch pot. So I want you to draw in a little ellipse. No, not the lips on your face. And the lips just means a really long oval. And then do kind of the letter C and connect it. It's basically when you made a, basically a cup by putting your thumb and pinching the sides. Give me a thumbs up once you have that. Okay, next we're going to do coil. A coil is basically a snake out of clay. There we go. That's all I'm literally drawing. Give me a thumbs up once you have a coil of clay. And then we also have a slab. A slab is just basically a little pancake where you flatten it out into a circle and that's where our coils are gonna go. Give me a thumbs up once you have something that looks like a little bit like a pancake. All right, all I want you to remember for additive clay techniques, that's when you add clay. Subtractive clay techniques, that's when you take clay away. So I just put a plus sign and a minus sign. We're not gonna worry too much about those words. We'll worry more about those next time when I actually have the clay in front of you. All right. So what your job is today is I want you guys to brainstorm what you want your clay quill pot to look like. First, you're gonna start with the slab. So I'm gonna put kind of a rounded part down here. Might make it 3D. And then think about your coils. Your coils can be flat. Your coils can be spirally. You're going to build up your clay coil pot I like to separate different patterns of coils with just a normal coil. You can do circles as your coil. We'll only have about 25 minutes to work on it next week, but you can take as much clay as you would like. So maybe you wanna make it tall, wavy coils. I've seen people braid coils before, which is really cool, just like hair. You also get the choice of color for this project. Do you wanna do an ombre for your pinch quill, for your clay quill pot? You could use marker, tell me what kind of paints you'll need. Once you have it, this is where you can upload your idea. I wanna know what your clay quill pot's gonna look like, what colors. This is where you're gonna upload it here. Instead of pressing replace image, search the web, this time you're gonna press camera. So like I said, click the question mark, replace image, go to camera, and then take a photo of your sketch. Once you're done with this, you can put your sketchbook back 
And then I want you guys to take some Play-Doh and I want you to try making your clay coil pot in Play-Doh. It's not the same thing as clay, obviously. You don't have to slip and score this time because it's not real clay. But I want you guys to practice making coils, maybe trying out some of the tricks. Do you want handles on yours? I want you to actually kind of feel clay, feel what it might feel like and create your clay coil pot. Done though, you can put the Play-Doh back in the cup, put it on the back counter, and you are free to choose a new activity. Here's one that I would recommend. I would love for you guys to play the uh, pottery game on the iPad. The icon looks like this, where you can make your own pot. It won't be a coil pot, but you can at least think about color, clay. This goes through the firing process, which is what's going to happen with ours as well. So enjoy, I want you guys to really be prepared for next time. Please don't wear your best clothes. We're gonna be working with clay, which is basically mud. Just be prepared. All right, have a great day, y'all.